Good day everyone, welcome to my channel. So we have our new topic for disaster readiness and risk reduction, which is all about the effects of disaster on one's life. So this will be the topic for the third quarter, module 2 and lesson number 1. For the objectives, all you have to do is to describe the effects of disaster on one's life. Hello students, disaster greatly affects one's lives. Community's vulnerability must be counteracted. To do this, it requires the reduction of the impact of the hazard through mitigation, prediction, warning, and preparedness. This module is all about effects of disaster on one's life. After studying and working on all activities in this module, you will be able to describe effects of disaster on one's life. Every year, there are millions of people who are affected by natural disaster. And maybe you know how calamitous it is. Am I right? From the destruction of buildings, the spread of many diseases, and even death, it can even devastate entire county overnight. Earthquakes, tsunamis, Typhoons and storm surge do not just wreak havoc on land. They also disrupt people's lives, destroy one's properties, and possess living in remote regions. The following are some of the effects of disasters on one's life. First is displacement. Population displacement is one of the most immediate effects of natural disasters. When a certain country is ravaged by earthquake and other powerful forces of nature, many people have to leave or evacuate their homes and seek shelter in other places. A big influx of refugees can disrupt everything from accessibility of health care and education to food, supplies, and basic hygiene. Bigger evacuation centers are common for all natural disasters, and only those who are fortunate enough will survive and face a range of challenges following disasters widespread.
Another effects of disasters on one's life is the health rest. The secondary effects can be just as damaging as the obvious danger that natural disaster brings. Typhoons, storm surge, and tsunamis often cause severe flooding that becomes the cause in the spread of waterborne bacteria and malaria. As a result, Health complications will be prevalent among victims or survivors of natural disaster who need the help of emergency relief not only from na national level but also from international aid organizations and even if the immediate danger has passed, death tolls may arise. Another effect of disaster in one's life is the food scarcity. After natural disasters, scarcity of food follows. As a result of lost possessions, destroyed crops, and a loss of agricultural supplies, thousands of people around the world go hungry. Hunger can be tremendous. The lives and health of the following potentially vulnerable group are at rest. Young children, pregnant and nursing women, unaccompanied children, widows, elderly people without family support, and disabled persons. Another is the poor or the marginalized people. Another vulnerable group is the migrants or individuals who leave or flee their habitual residence to go to new places, usually abroad, to seek better and safer living. Another vulnerable groups are the displaced population who leave their habitual residence in groups, usually due to a sudden impact of disaster like an earthquake, volcanic eruption, or a flood, threat, or community conflicts as a coping mechanism, and with the intent to return and the former migrants or displaced people returning to their homes or the returnees. Household and community structures, community facilities, livelihood and economic activities, and the environment are also at rest in times of disaster. Disaster rest depends on the choices made by individuals, households, communities, and governments. It might be increased or decreased depending on their preparedness level, prevention, and mitigation. Generally speaking, when we look into the social status of certain individuals, family responsibilities, or reproductive rule, women may be affected differently from men, but they are not necessarily vulnerable. They are also resourceful and resilient in times of crisis and play a vital role in recovery. Another effects of disasters on one's life is the emotional aftershocks. Natural disaster can be traumatic, especially for young children. Many of them develop post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD. This is a serious psychological condition resulting from extreme trauma during the disaster. They are confronted with the scene of destruction and death of their loved ones. If these children with PTSD are not treated, they will be prone to lifetime psychological damage and emotional distress. According to Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, before and after a disaster or crisis, it is common for the children, adults, and first responders to feel emotional distress. Most stress symptoms are temporary and will resolve on their own in a fairly short amount of time. However, for some people, particularly children and teens, these symptoms may last for weeks or even months and may influence the relationship with families and friends. 
here are the common warning signals of emotional distress. For adults, eating or sleeping too much or too little, feeling guilty, helpless or hopeless, and avoiding family and friends. Another common warning signs of emotional distress for adults is losing interest in daily activities, crying spells or bursts of anger, then pulling away from people and things. Another signs of emotional distress for adults is having low or no energy, having unexplained aches and pains such as constant stomach aches or headaches, feeling helpless or hopeless, excessive smoking, drinking, or using drugs, including prescription medicines. Another sign of emotional distress for adult is worrying a lot of time, feeling guilty but not sure why, thinking of hurting or killing yourself or someone else, and having difficulty readjusting to home or work life. Common warning signs of emotional distress for children from 6 to 11 years old, withdrawing from playgrounds and friends, competing more for attention of parents and teachers, being unwilling to leave home, being less interested in schoolwork. Another common warning signals of emotional distress for children is becoming aggressive, having added conflict with peers or parents, having difficulty concentrating, and become withdrawn. Another common warning signs of emotional distress for children is to resist authority, become disruptive or aggressive at home or in the classroom, experiment with high-risk behaviors such as underage drinking or prescription drug misuse and abuse.